Y'all know I'm an artist. Um, and I have been very, very, very much affected by the passing of Muhammad Ali. More recent passing. I'm still trying to come up from uh, my favorite musician who I have been a just straight diehard fan of. I don't even like calling myself a fan, you know, because I don't even like putting myself in the category of others who claim they were our fans of Prince. But I'm already coming up from that. Even though, you know, I, I had expected to hear this um, news about Muhammad Ali. But you see, I'm, I'm upset because, um, you know, I, I've just never... Well, I've always believed that, um, at least for a while, that he didn't just develop Parkinson's disease from um, from boxing or even from taking thyroids. Um, I don't even believe that he necessarily had Parkinson's disease, even if he had Parkinson's syndrome. You know, I'm a, you know I have my beliefs, my conspiracy theories, but anyways... You know, I still, I'm still not really accepting of his passing, and I don't know. But anyways, this was some artwork that I had did when I went back to college, like about 10 years ago. Um, it was taken from an Andy Warhol art image of Muhammad Ali. And this took me a while to do because I had to match up the colors like exactly. I had to um, make sure that I got everything exact, blending these um, colors using my primary colors, um, using paint. And I had to get everything just right um, to make it like look as close as possible to the Andy Warhol image. And after um, creating the colors, getting the colors just right, blending the colors, making them just right, I had um, punched out like tons of um, little dots <laughs> with a hole puncher and I put them together correctly um, and this took a while for me to do this was a lot of work you know, getting those colors just right and punching out all those holes and um, and this is what I came out with even though it's kind of tore up now as you can see um, now I remember when the student had told me that they had put my artwork up on the walls in the school you know in the hallway for display um i was very very honored and i was very flattered that they put my artwork they chose my artwork to put up on the walls of the the, the school for display um so yeah i chose muhammad ali because um he was a hero of mine he was is one of my heroes and as y'all know, I'm an artist and um, beautiful young Melanie Queen. She's an artist as well and she kind of inspired me to go and look at some of my artwork. Even though in the process of moving and just bad things happening, I've lost a lot of my artwork that I've done um, throughout the years. But I am an artist, primarily a sketch artist. And um, I've also taken up fashion design as well as um, merchandising and um got my degree in business uh and here's some of my work like with my business plan and everything um oh yeah and let me mention that that's another reason why i had decided to do youtubes initially i would do youtubes um talking to you through a camera because i needed some help well, I needed to work on giving presentations. I have a problem with that. Um, that's why I don't do very many videos um, looking directly into the camera. Um, initially, I was doing videos looking into the camera, but I get very nervous. Well, you're going to hear a lot of ums, uh, you know, <laughs> you're going to hear a lot of that in between me speaking. And I needed to practice and work on um is speaking before an audience because I was really getting tired of putting together these PowerPoints, doing all the work and research into um, our presentations 
but someone else was taking credit. Like when I did this um, uh, presentation um, on Starbucks and there was this white female, she ended up taking pretty much all of the credit because of me being, um, and it's kind of crazy because I, I used to perform in talent shows and everything I used to sing, um, but I have to get over that stage fright. Believe it or not, I'm kind of shy um, in front of people and that's been something that's kind of been a hindrance in me um, like when I used to um, sing and, and, and rap and um, as you can see right now I'm still having problems uh, <laughs> speaking even though there's no camera in my face but I'm gonna have to get through that and that's why I used to do um, videos where I'm like standing in my bathroom <laughs> there was the best lighting and I would be talking to you, trying to, um, you know, practice speaking more um, in front of an audience. Believe it or not, despite how much I talk, I, I'm still kind of shy with that. But I do want to get into doing the live shows, though. But anyways, um, as I've shared with y'all, I've been making paper dolls and doll houses and working in arts and crafts for, like, years. But I've just been doing it primarily as a hobby. So... Um, excuse the noise in the background. So I'm just sharing a little of my work with you. Um, and being that I've been thinking about Muhammad Ali. Oh, so noisy. I think what has me more upset is just the fact that just within this year alone, it's like we're just having to accept passing after passing. I know some people don't care, but um, I can't say that it was unexpected with Muhammad Ali. I had even expected um, with Vanity, Denise Matthews, considering how I remember hearing her talking about how she was sitting there talking to the people with no kidneys. And um, that was like about two or three years ago. I remember her saying this like in an interview or something. And that right there told me that, okay, um, we may not be um, with, uh, or she may not be with us very long. But still, you know, it's still going to affect you. Like, even though um, my mother had a stroke and everything, it still um, shocked us when she passed, you know. It still hit hard. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share a little of my work with y'all. 